right, so what is going on, YouTube? Hold on, let me get situated. What is going on today, YouTube? We are going back in with some more Vendred zombies, and hopefully... Uh, oh, shit, this hand is very, very good. Sadly, we have drawn... Drawn the Gozuki. We have drawn the Gozuki, so that sucks. But I feel like we can... Um, we can do some things. So, what are we playing here? We do play a Minerva. So we can definitely do that. But it all depends on what my opponent apparently has. Is there a Ghost Ash in his hand? Because then it gets... Oh, it's a Maxi. There is a Maxi. Well, since I do have this Gozuki and a Soul Charge, I feel like we should set up this. Ah, oh, damn it. Once again, I keep making stupid moves. There's really no reason not to get the... The Unizombie to dump. Literally no reason not to. So, <clears throat> yeah, man. Welcome back. We are going back in with some Vendred Zombies, man. We haven't played in a long time now. We did make some changes to the deck from uh, last time. Uh, we definitely have to stretch this out. Because I don't think this is... Uh, what's the name? I don't think this is far enough uh, with Scream Crafter. Because it's like cutting off right here, I believe. So you guys can't even see the rest of this uh, ignored chain. But you guys know what it is. So, uh, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, I mean, we, we made some changes. We added some cards. I thought, what's cool? What? Would you have struggling battle or something? Because, like, it wasn't going to do anything. Oh, what? Oh, man, not today. Not today. Not these people. I don't want to play against this man. Who does that? Who, who just does that? Goes the main phase two. You have a swap frog. Let's literally attack over Spe Spectre Sword. Simple as that. But I, I guess not. I guess I guess that's too oh, okay. I was about to say, is there a card of demise or something? I'm Black Rosen. Immediately, as soon as I get the chance. But well, that sucks. Um, yeah, I'm Black Rosen. I'm Black Rosen immediately. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna let me do it, but I'm Black Rosen immediately. There's a solemn morning. Um, we are not going to be doing that. We do have this soul charge, so yeah, we're gonna work with the, we're gonna work with a soul charge. Sadly, we did not draw a ritual spell, um, so that sucks. Uh, what else could you possibly have? Okay, there's the Gozuki. There is the Solitaire. Um, are you gonna let me get that off? So this is why you should do the Unizombie play, because after this he wouldn't have been able to do nothing. Okay, so let's activate you. Go ahead and dump the Mizuki. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to bait out that back row. Can't send Plague. Hmm. That's what we can't do. We can't send Plague. We can't send Zombie Master. That is, oh shit, that is a good option. Hmm. I'm trying to see here because if I go, I think I'm going to send Mizuki. Yeah. I'm going to send Mizuki and then right now I'm going to go into a, ooh, I can't go Minerva, but that'd be stupid. We're going to go into a Stardust Charge Warrior. And I know what you're wondering. Why, why the hell are you doing that? Um, no, we don't need to special. We're just going to try to get a draw off. Hopefully, he does not have something to stop it. Um, and then we can uh, yeah, we can do some things after this. We already soul charged, so we can't attack. Like I said, we, we, we play multiple burials and stuff like that. So we can definitely recycle shit. There's a lost win. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Because I did not want a lost win on top of my monster. But like I said, this is okay because we can do shit like this so this is going to get us the unizombie which in turn is going to go ahead and get us a uh what do you call it the believe a goblin zombie yeah we're going to get a hmm hmm yeah we're going to get a goblin zombie and we're going to spectral sword for I mean, Mizuki for the Goblin Zombie. Um, and then we're going to link into our Uwasa name. Into a Proxy Dragon. And then, with that, that's fine. Like I said, I don't care about that. With that, we can go ahead and get another Mizuki. Um, and then we could... Uh, we can discard. Okay, well that doesn't help. We're trying to black rose. I don't think we can now. Um, we can. No, we can't. We cannot black rose. But we can set up some nice shit. 
Um, yeah, we're just going to get this other Mizuki. And then we're going to go into... going to discard target itself. What do you have down there, man? You just have everything. You drew Maxi with 60 cards, first of all. Then you also had Warning. Oh my god, dude. Like... Is, is, this is what I'm this is what I play against literally every day every day I get a chance to play this game it's it's this the shit I go through I go through this shit consistently so what we can do here is we're gonna just get goblin zombie back again then we're gonna just go to a deco target that's 2800 that can negate some targeting shit even though like I said it doesn't really matter because uh, he does have a lost wind sitting right there um, sadly, we, <clears throat> we needed a ritual spell, and we could have did a bunch of more. We could have did way more shit. We could have just started banishing some of his back row, but it, he has something to respond to. So, I think I want to do this. I think I want to deco talker and leave the goblin zombie. I just feel like that's the better play. I just feel like it's the better play, but it might not be the better play. Um... Yeah, because, you know what, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Why? Because he does have a swap frog in his hand. So that means that that he, he can't get over this. He can get over that. He can get over that. What's name though? He can definitely get over that zero defense unit zombie, which is uh, nothing. And <clears throat> like I said, I'm not trying to resolve Deco Talker. I'm not trying to actually negate anything. I'm just trying to guarantee a search uh, on his turn. Like if he goes, uh, if he decides he wants to go into a tree toad, which is complete, like I said, it's completely fine if you go into I just still can't get over Maxi and Solemn Warning. And it's 60 card deck. But, <clears throat> like I said, I'm not really worried about Tree Toad. I'm totally awesome. Um, I just want to get this effect off. So if he does waste a, <clears throat> a totally awesome on that, that's completely fine with me. Completely fine. So, what we're missing, which is strange, but we're missing ri Ritual Spells. The first time ever we have not drawn a Ritual Spell. I mean, in real life, when I play this deck, I cannot not draw a ritual spell. And I, like, I draw rituals at the wrong time. I draw all the ritual support at the wrong time, like Vendred cards. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? And then, like, when I need them, I can't draw them. And then when I draw them, I don't need them. You guys understand what's going on here. So let's see if he's going to utilize the extra zone or is he going to go over here with his tree toad. Please do not go uh, into the Paleozoic that you clearly cannot activate. Or what's the name? Now this may be okay. Thank you. It's a totally awesome. Let's see if he does decide to negate. What he's probably going to do? Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to lost the win. So I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he's not going to negate this goblin zombie. I'm pretty sure he might have a strike or something down there. He may negate it. So you, I've seen Stranger Things. Uh, let's see. Um. Shit, this hand is actually... We're going to get Zombie Master here. Yeah, we're going to get Zombie Master because I, I feel like it's, it's just a good card. We do, we know he has a Lost Wind, but we know he can't target shit. Top deck, there's a Book of Life. That's amazing. That is a fucking good card right there. There's a Book of Life. So we're definitely going to get him to negate by uh, using the Spectral Sword, and he's probably going to take it. He can take it if he wants to. It doesn't really matter. Um, he's going to probably tribute his Duke Frog. Um, and since he has this lost win, I can suspect it's going to be on something. Uh, so let's see what we can do. We're going to definitely book a life to this Gozuki. Um, oh, he. Oh, fuck. That was an accident. That was an accident. I, I, <laughs> oh, he's letting it through? No, he's not. But um, <clears throat> I was definitely not supposed to do that. I was supposed to activate fucking Spectral Sword. But I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay. We're, we're good. We're good. I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's going to negate. Oh my god, he's not going to negate. So we're going to put that right over here. I know what you're wondering. Why are you putting it over here? Just so if he decides he wants to activate certain cards, we can just tribute. So let's go ahead and do that. I, th I, I think he knows how to play against this deck. Because he's not negating anything else. Um, we can go for a quick Black Rose right here. Do we want to? Fuck it, let's go Black Rose. You don't want to stop anything? We're going to just go Black Rose. I want to see how you like it. We're going black. Let's see if he does. He have a dimensional barrier. So we're not going to put it right here just in case he does have a dimensional barrier. Oh, we can actually activate this unit zombie. But I don't think we want to. No, we're not going to. We can. But I don't think we want to. We're, we're black rose in here. 
we're black rosen and we're gonna make him miss time and if he can't stop yeah if he can't stop that he uh so if this is gonna be one this is gonna be two um yeah we're gonna we're gonna make sure he can't even can't even respond with his uh his, his tree toad and it, even if he does use lost to win and target this i'm just going to attribute it with deco talker he's going to be off the field so then he really can't stop it so yeah i feel like we're good um only thing is that his dupe frog is not going to miss timing see like i said you can target that all you want but D code is just going to tribute it off as a cost so even if you did want to negate it it couldn't do that and you can't take tree toad because i believe you yeah you can't even negate it because you can't set it oh wait no then you can okay so I, i'm not too sure on that i don't know i'm pretty sure you can negate it doesn't really matter if he does negate or not yeah you can't set it so it really does not matter um he's going why would you tribute dupe frog what 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 was that for uh, we're going to special summon revenant right oh by opponent's card effect that sucks but it's okay because we're just going to yeah blow his board um yeah so he <laughs> he's playing the spellbook engine sure what are you gonna get back swap frog that's fine um yeah we're gonna we yeah, I, I think we have game here yeah i believe we do i um, mean yeah, i believe we do have game because we still have the spectral sword that can easily put a big amount um first though let's do this let's go right there and let's activate you because we still have not activated what's the name's effect have we we activated gozuki right yeah oh shit we don't even have a mizuki left um we're gonna get this and get yeah we're just gonna yeah, we're, we're gonna put enough on board we're gonna put enough yeah this is enough damage you guys don't have to worry there's a there's a there's plenty of damage there's plenty of damage to go around uh and we we have we have did it we have did it correctly folks we have done the thing that we're supposed to do so that's what's good see now i did not see the gozuki play to make it miss timing I'm be honest with you, but when I did go into a synchro, I did see it after that. So, yeah. So let's just say I did see it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I definitely did not see the Gozuki combo like off tops. I did not see it to make it miss timing because I mean, what did he have set? He had a Quaken and Oleanoids. He couldn't even activate anything anyway. So yeah, that is it for the first game of the day, man. Good job. We haven't seen the card that I did put in, but. Fear not, we're going to be right back and I'm going to show you guys the deck profile and you guys can see what card I'm talking about. All right, folks, so we are back and as you can see, let me just go over the top real quick and we're going to get to the card that is uh, in this deck uh, over some other cards and you can clearly see that uh, this deck is, is is not my original deck. It's, it's you know, it's a, it's a different version, but yeah, the card we have today is Forbidden Lance. Now, uh... Forbidden Lance, I've did some testing. It's actually pretty decent. And my reasoning behind it is because there's a lot of times where, like, if I have a Vendred on the board, like, faced up or something, they always have something, you know? Or if I got Slayer on the board with his effects, they always have some type of Dark Hole, some type of, you know, some type of random fucking spell card that this, or spell or trap that always tries to just get rid of my board. Mainly it's because, like, when I have Vendreds on the board, like, faced up, and I activate the ritual spell like people want to chain like Compose or Book of Moon or you know at this a whole bunch of random shit like or like in, in Paleozoics the one they, they got a Book of Moon one hit them with a Forbidden Lance then uh wait actually yeah that, 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 <laughs> that actually works against me because uh yeah that actually works really against me because yeah it, it would be unaffected by this but you guys pretty much get my drift uh it's there's pretty much just to keep them on the field really to keep my monsters on the field slayer with effects i mean most of the time you know he, he always gets like like it's book a moon or something like if you book a moon him he doesn't eat when you flip him something when you flip some of him he does not get his effect no more so that is a problem so yeah man lance is really here to protect slayer with the effects um, before what I was saying that's completely wrong because then you won't be able to tribute these I believe so but like I said I don't know because totally awesome contribute like a paleozoic card and see you know how they say they're unaffected by monsters you know and this says it's unaffected by the effects of other spells the traps you see you, you get what I'm saying so I don't know like the ruling because Konami does have a weird shit but yeah man I'm going on a tangent let's just go ahead and get to the second duel 
uh hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys would like to support the channel all i ask is you guys to click and add that'll be enough for me and yeah stay tuned for the next